Well, I guess by making this video, I'm making this a yearly thing now, a tradition. So welcome to our annual year in review, and this time, it's 2021. Here's a quick tally of the year to start us off. In 2021, we lived in three different cities and traveled in and through 11 states. If you watched our video last year, and I can't believe this was only a year ago at this point, you know that we ended 2020 living in Alexandria, Virginia. At that point, we still had three months left on my contract at Southern Maryland Hospital in Clinton, Maryland. Now, I'm going to contradict myself a little later on when you see how much we were able to squeeze into the three months of our next contract, but truth be told, we treated our last three months in Virginia as sort of a wind down. The pandemic was still going on at this point, so going out options were still limited and ill-advised, even though the vaccination was gaining a little momentum. Don't get me wrong, we still enjoyed every minute of it. Living in Old Town Alexandria was an experience we had been looking forward to for a long time. January, February, and March were spent exploring the area. We continued to go on frequent walks and trips around Old Town, enjoying the streets and the atmosphere. We also went on a multi-stop trip up the historic Baltimore-Washington Parkway. Here we saw such sites as the Lyndon Johnson Memorial Grove, various parks lining the Potomac, and the iconic Marine statue at Arlington Cemetery. March, we sadly left Alexandria. Our 10 months seemed to have flown by. Between contracts, we traveled back to Tulsa to visit family, and then headed back out east to our next contract. In Boston. Now, Boston is not normally a city we would choose for a contract. Yes, we chose the travel nursing lifestyle for the opportunity to get to visit new places, but our top priority has always been choosing contracts that benefit us the most financially. That means choosing contracts that pay well and are located in places with affordable housing. This contract at Brigham and Women's Hospital paid well enough that we could justify going to an expensive city like Boston on a contract. We weren't living in the city itself. We were just north of it in a suburb called Medford. It was close enough that I got to take the train every day to work, but we wished we had chosen to live downtown. We were only at this contract for three months, but boy, did we cram a lot in. We went into Boston to see some of the classic stops like the Boston Common, the Boston Public Garden, and the Boston Public Market. We went to the Science Museum downtown, which our son very much enjoyed. He was a little young for most of it, but there was still plenty for him to see and play with. I wish he could see the Pixar exhibit again because he has developed quite the obsession with Monsters, Inc. over the past couple months. As we always do, we also visited some nearby cities to give us a chance to explore the area as much as we could while we were there. We headed west to Springfield, where there's a museum and sculpture garden themed around the works of Theodore Geisel called The Wonderful World of Dr. Seuss. We went north to Salem, and we found that, surprisingly, the town full-on embraces their long-standing association with witches. The town is very historic, obviously, but a large number of the attractions are very much aimed to attract the visitors who just go there for the town's haunted past. We visited other spots in Boston, such as the Children's Museum, the Franklin Park Zoo, which ranks fairly low on our list of zoos we've been to. And we, of course, had to walk the Freedom Trail. Highlights included Park Street Church, the Granary Burying Ground, the Old North Church, of course. By this time, we were pretty much in our last month of the contract, so our focus shifted a bit. Instead of trying to see everything in Boston, we started to explore the surrounding areas. We headed out for an overnight stay in Cape Cod. We loved being out by the water. It was beautiful. On our first day, we drove to the Cape, went all the way north for a walk around Provincetown. Incidentally, it happened to be Pride Weekend the same time we were there. And then that night, we went to a drive-in movie before heading back to our hotel. The next day, we went to several lighthouses and beaches down the National Seashore.
and then we went for a bike ride around the island. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh for our next stop in seeing the area around Boston, we headed down to Plymouth. While there is obviously an element of the town that is focused on attracting tourists with its famous role in the history of the colonization of the area, the town itself is actually very nice. We enjoyed walking down their main street and then along the water where we got to see the famed Plymouth Rock and the ships in the harbor. Our last stop before leaving took us to a new state for us, Rhode Island. It's not far at all from Boston, so we figured, why not? We went to Providence, walked around the city, and walked through the Brown University campus as well. Alright, so in June, my contract was over, and we had to head to our next spot in the country, Kansas. We made a road trip out of it, of course. Our big stop of the trip you'll see in a second, but on the way we saw Fort Stanwix National Monument, which is in Rome, New York. Then we went to Niagara Falls. Neither of us had ever been there. The town itself, very disappointing, kind of what you would expect in a tourist trap kind of town. But the falls themselves were obviously beautiful. Massive, awesome. We took the boat that takes you down by the falls, which our son had very mixed feelings about. I guess it's not true. He didn't like it at all because you get absolutely soaked going on the boat. It was an experience to be sure. We'd do it again. The next day, we were still in the area, so we went down into Buffalo to visit the Theodore Roosevelt National Historic Site and the Herschel Carousel Factory Museum. This was our son's first time on a carousel and he was not a fan. The next day we continued across the country, stopped in Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Ohio, and from there it was pretty much just driving. Our destination was Overland Park, Kansas, a suburb just outside Kansas City. My contract was at Olathe Medical Center in Olathe, Kansas, which was just south of us. We were here for six months, but looking back on it, I feel like we crammed more into our time in Boston than we did here. It's not like we did nothing at all while in Kansas. We did go out for various activities. We visited the Deanna Rose Farmstead multiple times. It's a fantastic farm that has a multitude of activities for kids. Our son loved it. We went to a local apple orchard and sunflower farm and let our son pick apples for the first time. We went to Overland Parks downtown and enjoyed their beautiful parks. We attended a Water Lantern Festival in Kansas City, which was a fantastic and beautiful experience. We did several outings in Oklahoma as well. We went to the Jasmine Moran Children's Museum, and we had our son's second birthday in Tulsa at a pumpkin patch. We also finally got to visit Gathering Place, a relatively new park to Tulsa, which has some of the most beautiful playgrounds we've ever seen. And our son finally got to experience a real Halloween while we were in Overland Park. We took him trick-or-treating for the first time and he absolutely loved it. We also made day trips to Fort Scott, a National Historic Site in Kansas, Willow Rock Wildlife Preserve, which is in Oklahoma, and Tallgrass Prairie Preserve, another National Historic Site in Kansas. Now that the year has wrapped up, my contract ended in December. My last day was actually Christmas Eve. We headed back to Tulsa to spend Christmas with family and to prepare for our next contract. You'll see this in the weeks to come, but we're headed back to Boston. It's a running joke with me and Trish that although my career as a travel nurse affords us the opportunity to go anywhere in the country, we keep on going to the same places repeatedly. Oregon, Maryland, and now Boston. All places we've contracted in twice. Despite having just been there, we are looking forward to it. There is still plenty more to do in that area. Anyway, this has been our year 2021, and we are very much looking forward to our adventures in 2022, but have no idea where they will all be taking place. But as always, we will see you again next week in whatever next week's video is. Until then, goodbye.